I'm aware that most of you guys don't want to do a lot of reading, so here's an AI voiceover for everything. I wanted to use Gojo's hot-ass voice for this, but turns out cloning requires way too much effort and money, and honestly, fuck all that. No way I'm doing it. First, I'm going to explain the very basics of nulls without using any complicated terminology. Also, if things get too fast, you can slow down the video to make things easier. Imagine this layer is Kenny, and these objects are his dick riders. Whatever opinion he gives out, the glazers will follow. They can move in their own way, yes, but they'll still be influenced by him, understood? Now, Kenny is a null, and the objects are attached to it. Moving the null layer will cause the others to move in the same way. You can still adjust them to your own desire, but any movement done on a null will affect the layers linked to it. A null layer can also be linked to another null layer. Doing so will cause any movement done on the second null layer to be passed on to the first null layer and all objects connected to it. Remember, doing this will not disturb the properties of the first layer itself, but only influence it. This is exactly what's done by most editors you watch to create these smooth movements in different directions. Multiple layers of nulls linked to one another. Basically, you can attach multiple layers to one null layer to give all the layers a similar movement by applying it to just the null layer. It's easier and much more smoother to do than applying it separately to each layer. You can use nulls to create animations and to give 3D effect to your edits and loads of other things. It just depends on your creativity. Now that you know what a null is, I'm going to show you how to add a null layer and attach other layers to it. There may be some of you who have no idea how to do that. Inside a project, you're going to want to click on this plus icon and then the Object Elements tab. Here just click on Null and it'll add a null layer to your project. To attach a layer to the null, click on the layer. Then on the top right, you'll need to click this It'll open up a tab of all the layers in your project. Click on the null layer to attach it. If you don't see your null layer there, scroll down or up, because in some cases the null layer and the other layers can be too far apart. I'm hoping you guys have understood the very basics of what a null is and how to add it to your project. Now, I'm going to show you how to create these 3D-like smooth movements that I'm sure you've seen other editors do. Most of you are probably here for this. First, I'm going to need you to understand which axis causes what type of movement. The X-axis causes horizontal movement, and the Y-axis causes vertical movement. The Z-axis here represents depth. Put simply, this is what's going to be your main focus. With this, you'll add a three-dimensional perspective to your edit. I've kept this PNG here at zero. Now, this Gojo PNG is at 3000. This Sukuna PNG hides Gojo completely, but as I move the null layer that both of these PNGs are attached to, the Gojo PNG can be seen. It seems to be far back inwards, like it's at a different depth. Now, if I add another PNG at negative 1300, then at the very start, it's nowhere to be seen. But when you move outwards, it comes into perspective slowly. You can use stuff like graphs and blur to make it smoother, but you get the idea. Obviously, this in itself is very annoying. Having to adjust all the layers at different coordinates can get confusing at the start. So, I'll show you guys what I do when I edit. See, I don't add all the layers in the beginning and set them up at specific coordinates. I set them as the edit moves along. I know it's confusing to hear, but just watch as I make this and hopefully you'll understand. You see how I don't add specific coordinates. Rather, I just link the layers when I see them appropriate. I feel this way, it's much faster, and for editors like me who don't have a script of an edit planned out and make the edit as it goes on, it's just a lot more simpler. All right. By now, if you've watched through the entire video and understood what nulls are and how to use them, I can confidently say that 
Just this video alone is enough for you to create these different type of movements used in edits. Remember, everything comes with practice. The more you implement nulls in your edits, the more you'll get comfortable and creative with them. Now, I'm going to show the full process of me creating this very basic and simple null movement from scratch, so you guys can use this as reference. I'll also link this project file in the description if any of you want to use it for some reason.